you want to film from the game? The fans want to play happy. Yeah, so more of that. We got more of that than what we hoped that we could get out of the game. So, um, yeah, it's been really, really beneficial. Uh, we always play to win, um, and the way that we got that win over the line is phenomenal because we are in pre-season, and as you can see after the 17th minute, uh, that's always the, the moment that where you're not super fit and you get the problems, different players cramping up. Uh, but the professional way of dealing with that um, is, is phenomenal. Two years ago, we would not have been able to do that. Uh, and we just we, we got the win over the line by their behavior and by uh, killing the game, actually. Um, uh, while still playing, because we are not we are not a team that's going to die for anything. Uh, but we knew how to calm down the game and, and what to do. And the fact that Claire Warden said, "I'm not going off, I stay on," uh, and she started as a player, as a striker, so it was not really new. But there, we didn't need that. We needed more the, the, in the back line, of course. In the last few minutes, we turned it around so that we could end with 11 players. And you were playing Zambia because it was a setup for the Nigeria game. Yeah. They gave you a very good game, they were very yeah. strong, particularly yeah. on, on the attack, on the counter attack as well. So you got yeah, they're physically to... so strong and fast and, and skillful. Um, so we knew that that would be a huge, huge problem. So it was moments, we knew also if we pressed them, they were not so good in playing out. But the space that we left behind us, that was the problem. Um, and everybody, well, they know now what it is to play uh, to play an African team and how difficult it is to play an African team. Lear, can I ask you, how pleased are you for Amber Barrett scoring the first goal and the first two goals since the Scotland game? You can tell she was delighted to score them. Were you just as happy for her? Yeah, of course, but uh, I would have been happy for any player. But I don't know if you've seen our contact. We've been uh, working today a bit special on getting ready and not, being, not getting out of your body and looking at yourself and what her task is and, uh, and how to grab that touch it. There has that sorted out? Like we did with all the players, eh? There has that sorted out some of your thinking or have you more problems now? Yeah, I don't know yet. We're going to sit tonight with the technical staff and I've got the feeling that there'll be even more problems than the uh, solutions. And is that what you're expecting from Nigeria, that kind of heavy power that we saw? From the Zambia. From the Zambia, yeah. but from the Nigeria again in the World Cup, is that yeah. what you're expecting? Yeah, that's exactly what uh, Nigeria is in Zambia. People are saying that some of the players have a tough few days ahead while they're ready for the squad leaves. Is it tough for you and your coach and staff as well now to sit down and kind of hammer out that final race? It's the worst day of the campaign, the moment that I have to take that this final decision because that will be on my shoulders. We do it together, we do everything together with the technical staff, but at, at the end I'm the responsible, so I'm not looking forward to it. There's a lot of players there tonight, like you said, they've given you a lot to think about now yeah. next week, so yeah. it's, it's getting tougher, I think, as it gets closer. Yeah, because um, the pressure of the World Cup pushes up the performance, as you've seen. The players have won the pitch, they've performed better than they've ever done. Uh, some of them. Yeah, that makes it more difficult. So I think we need a video also to have a very honest, because that is the cru crucial thing. I want to give very, very honest opinion at the end and take the honest decisions and without any bias of anything or tables, whatever. Um, it needs to be based on the football performance of the pitch. In terms of second half performance, you can please the way your side came out just straight after the break. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in the break, um, the first sentence that I said, you guys, if you have fear of failure, you will never succeed. It was the first sentence, the first line on the first presentation uh, four years ago with the first activity. And that is what happened today. Um, first half, there were players who, were, who had fear of, of making mistakes. Uh, and I said, you must have the guts to fail. If you don't have the guts to fail, you will not succeed. Um, and I think that Claire Ward has picked it up immensely. Uh, I said to her, you have so much weight. Take the ball open, even though it's on your left foot, you are capable, You're so, you are so strong and you're technically gifted and have the guts to do it because that will make your life so much easier. Um, and I said, in, in, and if you lose the ball, yeah. So what? You need to show now how uh, how you can play and just go for it. And if you open and you have space and the pressure is coming on you, you can always go back. And if you've seen how she gets out of a very tricky situation in the second half, it shows how good she is. 
uh, and that she, there's no need to, uh, to fear losing the goal. Claire's first international goal. It's mad you talked about her playing up front a little bit, starting a career up front, the, the transition to a defender. One of the key reasons why we brought her, because initially she was not, and I've created an extra place for her because of her performances in, in, at the end. We knew that she was a good header, but she became a superb player. And especially those headers and her battling capacity without making fouls, that made it to bring her in, and that made it that I actually put her behind Izzy because we needed a battle behind Izzy to help her, and uh, she's done that very well. Talk to us a little bit about the decision, obviously, to play Izzy, because Izzy wasn't initially played in the squad, but she had an opportunity to, to, to maybe force her way into it, maybe not, be, not being fully here at the moment. Talk to us a little bit about the decision to maybe throw Izzy into it. Um, like what, what I just started with, you must have the guts to fail. If you want to see players, if you want to give players a chance, as a coach you must have the guts also to fail in that. And um, that, that was the reason why we just did it. We had the core, we said it's no chaos, I said, I said that at the press conference, eh? no chaos, structure, a core of players that, that create that, but we need to give all the other players the chance to show themselves. And I think that they, they've had it. And, uh, I'm, Last one for me, was it always a plan to make five subs at half time or was it, yep. did it, did the game just dictate that? No, um, uh, we, we said if the, if everything goes to plan, then uh, then we can be so glad and it went exactly what we planned. Um, five subs and the last sub at the 60th minute because there could have been an injury and then we knew that there would be players who would struggle but we couldn't make more subs. Okay, just last one. You spoke about sleepless nights. Uh, yeah. How will you sleep tonight? A little bit better, or possibly worse? No, no, we did it. No, no. You know what I said to my brother is um, th these days it's just not nice. It's horrible. It's really horrible. But it's for them worse. For them it's worse. I need to take that on my shoulders, and uh, it will turn around after those decisions are made, and then we can go ahead. But until that moment. Um, it's not the ones who make it that are in my mind, but the ones who do not make it. And um, I also feel that uh, this is the first game that we have in this campaign after coming together. Um, and all those players who have not made the squad, um, they they must feel bad. I've, I've texted every single player who did not make the squad of the 50. And uh, yeah, I did that on the way to the stadium because I felt that. I felt that um, they're not here, they're not with us. Um, and it hurts. But it's part of elite sport and we need to be strong. It, it's part of it, but it hurts. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.